Hey guys, it's Xavier from Ready Comics, and Jay will be a comic review of Human Race issue number one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. And let's get into the review. The comic starts with a close up of Flyer depicting a monstrous figure. On it, it says, Government message, all expressions of fear, anger, love, pretty much any strong emotions are forbidden in public areas. And at the bottom of the flyer, a message that reads, Emotions cost lives. We then zoom out to see a neighborhood and a man and his wife watching TV. The man then proceeds to give us a little context about what's going on in this world. The nerd explains that the man is fed up with bottling up his emotions, or if he does, the life forms will take him away. As this is being explained, the man grows more and more uneasy until the point where he gets up and starts screaming his grievances with this world for whoever will listen. The man then walks outside and waiting for him, a portal, an almost black hole type anomaly, and inside, an amorphous monstrosity shown on the flyer. The creature rips the man apart in front of his wife, but she can only stand there, emotionless, because she knew if she didn't, she'd meet the same fate. Well, that was pretty dark, but I know just the thing to cheer you up. Subscribe to the Rated Comics YouTube channel. We have bi-weekly comic book reviews, along with a whole heap of comic book content. And if you like any of the comics you see, you can check us out at Rated Comics at any of the links below and pick up your very own copy. Alright, back to the review. We now meet who seems like one of the main characters, Professor Anjal Sharma, in a room with a lot of important-looking men, one of them being a United States general. She assures the men that the room is padded and as well as windowless, so they did not need to hide their emotions, but did remind them that any screaming would get them kicked out. She then tells the man everything she knows about the life forms, like how they are attracted to human emotions and like to attack in open areas. She then gets into an argument with the general over how these life forms should be dealt with, she wants to take a more scientific approach and study them, and understand why they're doing what they're doing. And the general, he just wants to blow them up. After the tension settles a bit, we cut to the professor's home life, where we find a little bit more about these creatures. It turns out they won't attack anyone under the age of five, which worries the professor, because her son just turned six. Along with the stress of trying to figure out what these things are, and how to get rid of them, she also has to teach her young son to keep his emotions hidden. After this, we cut to the day the monsters arrived. They start off by taking a few people, and a few more, but eventually, the public began to notice, and they blamed it on the government. They started a protest, but all the anger from the protest summoned the beast, and I'll let you imagine how that ended. We then see a few frames of how this new way of living has affected people, then we meet two more of our main characters, Dex and Visa. After talking about taking their relationship to the next level, we arrive at their wedding. All is going well, and everyone is having a great time. We find out these events take place before the life forms arrive, because during the reception, Visa's cousin runs up to her in a panic, saying something about monsters. She thinks it's some kind of game and dismisses it until a portal opens into the sky. Well, that's where I'm going to leave it off. This comic definitely gives me some Quiet Place and Bird Box vibes. So if you're a fan of those movies, you should definitely check it out, and I highly recommend it. If you want to pick up your very own copy of Human Remains, issue number one, and find out how it ends, or just want to pick up any other comic you've had your eyes on, make sure to check us out at Ready Comics in the links in the description below. And until next time.